Today's topic is design of battery storage system, BSS. First step is find the purpose of battery storage system. Where do you want to use your battery system? Whether it is for house, whether it is for a toy, whether it is for domestic appliance like hair dryer, do you want to use it for just starting a scooter or whether it is pure electric vehicle, whether you want it for energy pumping station, whether you want it for, you know, movie recording, whether you want the battery storage in the space or either you want battery storage for data server. So first thing is find the purpose of the battery storage system. Then as per the need, draw the two graphs. One is current versus time and second is voltage versus time, which is nothing but load characteristic of your battery storage system. Say for example, the current and time slot is given. Let us say this is for 9 hours. So something like this you have to plot and then from this type of graph that is current versus time try to find out the cycle R and maximum ampere required as well as minimum voltage required for the operation. So voltage characteristic and current characteristics both versus time required for battery storage system. Now you have to find whether you want your storage system as you zen throw or you want it rechargeable. So decide do you want you zen throw or rechargeable battery storage system. Then from which single cell you want to design ultimately a battery storage system will have a single cell and what is the characteristic or other parameters for it that is voltage ampere R and power rating now from this characteristic let us go to uh, you know the voltage voltage rating or battery storage system so as for the voltage funda voltage is going to give you the number of cells required in series connection so uh, let us assume one cell is having 1.8 volt and your bss requires 48 volt so number of cells required in a series path is equal to voltage total that is your bss total voltage divided by single cell potential right so v total divided by v cell is going to give you the number of cells required in series connection like this if there are two cells 6 volt each so total battery pack of two cells is going to give you 12 volt and 10 AH is going to be constant right now but suppose you want to add some current so that means current rating of a single cell as well as battery storage system is important and that is current funda so in case of current funda what we find is the total number of cells required in parallel in case of BSS let us assume that one cell has 5 ampere R this is just assumption and total ampere required is 100 so the number of cells required in parallel is going to be I total divided by I cell so in this way you will find that number of cells connected in parallel will add ampere R capacity it is like 6 volt 2 cells connected in parallel each of 10 AH 
so you will have 6 volt overall BSS but 20 AH of the BSS so that is going to be your current addition by parallel so that means if you want to add voltage you have to connect in series if you want to add current that means you have to connect in the parallel so overall pack is going to be you know the number of series cells and number of parallel cells so total number of cells are going to be the product of two that is number of cells in series and number of cells in parallel so this is how you will get total battery storage system design for voltage and ampere are ready not only this there are other constraints also which are important in designing battery pack what are those number of cycles cost of the equipment weight of the BSS volume estimated self discharge rate of internal cells heat generation and dissipation of the battery storage system what type of charging method we are going to use what is hours of usage that is one cycle in case of rechargeable battery storage system and whether you want it to be recyclable or not so that means the material choice fine now let us have a uh, trying at our hand you try just your hand try to find out the battery pack that is BSS for street light the rating expected from the street light is 12 volt 1.6 ampere and 10 hours of usage second is an electric cycle which has 72 volt and 21 ampere which should be able to use up to six hours so this is a kind of example you can practice of course for this you just try uh, with a single cell of 1.6 volt and 0.8 ampere try to calculate yeah of course this is 0.8 ah try to calculate and do reply your answer in comment and interact with me so this is me thank you very much do practice find out and enjoy design of battery storage system more things are going to come in future thank you thank you once again